The Army had established the first motion picture unit in Culver City, California, to provide high-quality film, radio, and print content for training and inspiration. In 1945, a professional photographer turned Army private, David Conover, was sent by his captain to shoot pictures of pretty girls doing their job for use in Yank magazine. Conover would later write, I moved down the assembly line, taking shots of the most attractive employees. None was especially out of the ordinary. I came to a pretty girl putting on propellers and raised the camera to my eye. She had curly ash blonde hair and her face was smudged with dirt. I snapped her picture and walked on. Then I stopped, stunned. She was beautiful, a luminous quality in her face. Her eyes held something that touched and intrigued me. Conover spent the next two weeks snapping pictures of this promising beauty, coaching her on how to pose and play to the camera before losing touch after he was shipped to the Philippines. It was not until later in 1953 that he discovered his model, Norma Jean Dougherty, had become movie star idol Marilyn Monroe. And the captain who assigned Private Conover to this assignment, he would later become 40th President of the United States, Ronald Reagan.